welcome back to part five. These panels are now good to go so they're all dry so we can now move on to these next stages. Now the first piece we've got to do is get these panels all grey scotch down and then give them a good clean with wax and grease remover. The actual vents that go on these sides, there was one that had some nasty bolts that was going through it to keep this on. So I've fiberglassed the holes up, we'll sand all these out. I've cleaned all the grooves out on this one as well, so they're all cleaned up. We'll get this fiberglass sanded, get this in some plastic primer, and I'm gonna go over these in satin black and make these look nice and new. So that's on today's cards as well. We've got to get these panels looking like this. So we've got to do some textures across these panels and then we've got to drop the original stripes in, which will be an eight mil stripe and a 23 mil center stripe down the center of here. We'll use some fine line for that and we've got some black base coat on. So I'll see you in the first time lapse. around where I am spot. This side panel is now done for textures as you can see nice and simple so I've got like the bits that's all chipped away all over so that's come out really really well dead simple to do guys I've used a little bit of texture went in with the white been dabbing it with a piece of paper towel I've mixed light greys and just built the layers up put some scratches in with a scalpel just to highlight some of the real sharp edges, as you can see here and here, just scratched into it to make it look more old. A few more bits there, textures all round. So that one's done, we can drop the, the stripes are gonna come over some of these, but we'll drop the stripes in here. And I'll make the stripes look a little bit older as well with the edges looking a little bit more chewed up. Nice big piece of rust piece in there where it's all split away. But that one will do. So that's looking nice and old. It looks sort of like this. Textures on here. So that will do for that one. I'll stick it in another time lapse. We'll smash the next one out. And then I'll take you through putting the stripes on. See you in a bit. next one done nice and quick so I'll give you a little pan around on that so you've got all the little textures the little scrapes the dinks the knocks and the weathered looking paint to match up to this so you've got them bits all the way along going through to the back more little scratches and dinks so that's that one complete the next stage on this is to drop the stripes in I'm going to let this paint go off for a minute because I've built the layers up in its water base and let this cure right down. 
and then we can drop these stripes in that go back in here and then get some clear coat ready so I'll see you in the next step That's then masked up, pin lined out, and ready to put a bit of black base coat down. Just going to use a water based acrylic on this. Take it nice and slow with the Creos PS290 and just build the layers up. We'll drop these black stripes in, demask it, and then we're ready for clear coat. So I'll see you in the next step. Do a demask now on these, they're dry. needs to get these sprayed up right that's 
all them bits demasked guys i'm going to call this one done today i'm going to clear coat these in tomorrow's video so you're going to see part six on these but i'll give you a little pan around where we are so we've dropped all the lines in demasked them we've got all the textures coming through all the way around we've dropped the stripes down you've got the textures breaking through where the stripe is which i think looks really really good a little bit of mottling in the stripe which you would have if the rust was coming underneath moving on to this one same all the nice textures coming around on the rust so that blends in really nice now to this piece once the side panels are cleared this will blend in really really well with the rest of the bike and that's what we was aiming for so they've come out really well the next stage on these is to as i say is to clear coat these but as you can see the state of it in here i've got to completely gut this give it a really really good clean down um, so we can get these cleared i'm going to drop a bit of plastic primer on these and then re-black these because that one had some fiberglass and they had some nasty holes in that where they bolted it through so i'll fiberglass them up we'll sand them out and i'm going to mount these with 3m double-sided tape so they can be stuck on so we'll get them bits done in tomorrow's episode we can get them bits finished i'll take you through the process of the plastic primer on them we'll black them off we can get them clear coated and then i can get the dread effect sign this one i'll get this one clear coated up with these two panels as well tomorrow guys and i'll take you through a clear coat stage so i hope you enjoyed the video hope you can join me in tomorrow's video when we get all this clear coated up but the first thing i've got to do is completely gut this studio give it a good clean out and get set up for clear so i'll see you in tomorrow's video thanks for watching